I find it increasingly difficult to answer the question, so what do you do for a living? <laughs> I don't know. Living? Surviving? Barely. I'm doing my best. That's what I'm doing, Belinda. <laughs> I guess if I have to define it, I'm an entrepreneur. A small business owner, which sounds lovely. Ne? Not gonna lie. It sounds like you have your shit worked out. You know what you're doing. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I don't. Here's the thing, all right? Being self-employed has a lot of benefits, but also a lot of drawbacks. It's not just milk and roses. Is that the saying? I don't think it is. <laughs> Let me tell you a story to prove my point to you. So for those of you who don't know, we have a restaurant called Milipa. We opened our doors just before COVID. Because we did not have a magical ball that told us, listen, in a couple of months, things are going to get bad. We, we, weren't, we weren't aware. We also didn't have starting capital, which all of the small uh, business people will tell you, you can't start a business without a capital. You can. I won't recommend it. You can do it, but you're going to have ulcers. I won't recommend. Anyway, me, my dad, my brother, we were willing to do free labor, all right? We were just like, we're going to make this work. And then COVID hit. And because we are stubborn and um, we don't have options, we were just like, okay, well, what are you going to do? Just push through. Just keep going. Like Dory would say, just keep swimming. And um, we kept swimming until we almost drowned multiple times. But we, we got through COVID and we didn't know it at the time, but 2022 was kind of a boom year. Everything was looking up. It was looking like everything was going to be okay. <laughs> That's how they get you. So in 2022, everything was looking like it's going fine. Business was doing good. Um, and an opportunity came along for us to open a new branch in Bronkerspreit. And the place was beautiful. And we were like, you know what they say, you only regret the chances you do not take. I'm here to tell you that's nonsense. But anyway, we took a chance and we opened a new branch in Bronkorspray. In 2023 came along and um, it laughed in our faces. They're like, you, you really thought the economy was going to do better? Psych! <laughs> so after eight months... Of a lot of work, a lot of um, ulcers, and um, a lot of tears, <laughs> in my case. Um, we were forced to close down Milly Papronko's Pride. It felt embarrassing. I was like, um, I suck as a businesswoman. Look at this big fat failure. Obviously, that's not true, but that's what I was feeling like at the time. So I did three days to cry and then I was just like okay well we still have our original Millie Pop in Kempton Park and it is not gonna make it if I sit crying the whole time so we just need to get on with it you might be wondering Sammy what's your point get to the point matter I will I will relax my point is that if you want to go into small business owner, entrepreneur, or you want to do a side hustle, whatever the case may be, you must always be ready for everything. It's not always going to be smooth sailing. Sometimes it's going to be hella choppy, all right? And you're just going to have to go through the motions. My top tip for you, if you want to go into working for yourself, is that you must never think you know everything. You do not. Nobody does. You must always be open to learn something new. And you must try things, take educated risks, and be aware that maybe it's not going to work out. And if it doesn't work out, you need to adjust and move on. And most importantly, learn something. I learned that it was way too soon to try and open a new branch. We weren't ready for it. And yes, the economy played a role. Um, it was extremely quiet. A lot of things worked together in order to make that business not work but 
What I could have done differently is not open it in the first place because we weren't ready. Don't try to grow too soon. Anyway, this episode of the real story behind being an entrepreneur <laughs> is sponsored by Simply Biz by NetBank. Simply Biz is an amazing and free resource to entrepreneurs, small business owners, people who's just starting a side hustle. It doesn't matter. And you don't need to be a client for, of NetBank to use this service. Just go to simplybiz.co.za. There are tons of webinars. You can improve yourself. You can learn more. There's resources for small businesses, business funding, whatever you can think of. It's an incredible tool for small business owners. Check it out and always try to improve yourself because you're never going to know everything. And when things don't work out, such is life, eh? Just move on. What else can you do? Thank you so much, Simply Biz and Ed Bank, for sponsoring this video. I appreciate you. Okay? Chat again later. Okay, bye.